Thank you, Flora. You're looking very formal. Well. This is just like impression of your last. <laughs> it is. In fact, I'm, <laughs> I'm really only just making a cameo appearance. Um, and and it's, uh, I'm just happy that Chris McVeigh isn't here because he would say <laughs> I'm making a Cameron appearance. So don't. Don't encourage him, please. That's my advice to you. <laughs> okay, we, we, we won't encourage him. We are going to record a meeting, so I'm not sure. He might just still get <laughs> to teach Terrible. you afterwards. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Is... Laura, I'll go ahead and start recording now, okay? Yeah, it is exactly 6.30. Oh, here comes Jonas, too. Welcome, Erica, too. And Lisa, thank you for being here too. Recording in progress. Yeah. Thank you for taking time of your. Hey, Jonas. There's Erica. I don't know if Deb is going to come alive in your camera or Joanne or Michael. No. Well, welcome everybody. This is our informational meeting. Uh, we are, it's going to be very informal. We thought that instead of going through the entire uh, presentation, we we're going to take some time to just give you some very quick highlights, but mostly just open it up for, for questions, because we assume if you're here, you have received our report. You've been, a lot of you have been coming to our forums already, and uh, we presented on February 16, too, so we thought that it would be, the time will be better spent with listening to your to your questions. So with that, I we're not gonna share the presentation unless I hear from any of the community members that would like to see the presentation that we share on the 16. I don't see any hands up. I don't see Erica shaking her head. So we're safe. If Erica says we're okay, we're good. <laughs> Scott has his hand up. I don't think he's just frozen. waving hello. <laughs> okay. Go, go ahead, Scott. Yeah, Sorry, my internet is a little unstable. Thank you very much. I mean, it, when I was on the U32 board, this meeting was always my favorite because hardly anybody ever showed up. So mm -hmm. it was just the... Um, the hardcore attendees and it was so late in the game it didn't really matter everybody had already made up their minds what to what to vote on anyway so we just had a lovely time together and um i hope that you will be able to do the same this evening um i, I just wanted before i excuse myself I, I just wanted to extend thanks and appreciation to um comrades and fellow travelers, um, past and present, who have made this such a rewarding experience for me. And um, that, of course, includes present company, but also um, absent company as well. Uh, and I, I hope um, they will, they will uh, at least feel the vibes, even if they don't get the message. So anyway, Thank you so much, all of you. Uh, good luck. I'm sure the budget will pass. No worries. Take good care. And I'll be on the other side of the fence from now on. Feel free to call on me. <laughs> Thank you, Scott. Take care. Have it. Okay. Thanks, Take care. Thanks. Bye. Good luck with everything. Thank, Thank you, you so Scott. much. For Bye. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Okay. So hopefully my you can hear me again. So let's let's open it up for questions, and then we'll have some remarks from the board if if needed. But um, I don't know, Dev, Michael, Joan, Erica, do you have any burning questions? Any questions from the report? Did you like the report? <laughs> the reporty report. Hi, can you hear me? This is Deborah. Yes. Hey, Deb. Hi, Deb Fillion. Um, I, I just have a, you know, I work on the town report and 
I just have a general feeling like the school has so much more at stake in terms of the size of the budget. And, you know, it's just so much more massive compared to the town. And yet it seems like there are whole things that the town devotes a couple of pages to at least that we don't see in the school report. I'm wondering if maybe there's somewhere else that I should go look for them. I mean, like a, like a capital plan, for example, that goes out 10 years or something and shows how much money you're putting into a capital budget every year and what you're saving it up for and what kind of expenses you're expecting coming down the pike and that kind of thing. It seems like we used to include those things when we were just reporting on the elementary school and it was part of our town report. And now that it's been incorporated into the larger thing, am I just missing it? Is it somewhere here and I'm just not seeing it? So you, you're not missing it, Deb. We we did not put that on the on the report. We didn't put the entire capital plan. We're, we're that is one of our long term goals. And Chris is here with us. I'm not gonna try to speak for him either. But as a board, uh, you can be assured that that is a very important goal for us to be able to have a. It was one. It's one of our parameters to what we must do to keep our buildings up to code and to be able to maintain all of our facilities, not just for maintaining them, but what is best for student outcomes. So how we use the space. So we are hoping to present at our April uh, and May meeting, the status of that, uh, of, of that, of that work. And with that, I'll let uh, Chris say a little bit on it. If you would like, Chris, don't feel like you're on the spot either, but since you're here. <laughs> Yeah, sure. Um, you know, Suzanne and, and Bill and I have been working on the five-year capital plan <clears throat> now for several weeks. And, um, you know, short, shortly after that, uh, once we get that to where we think we need to have it, we'll be working on a longer term 20 to 25-year plan. So we'd like to, you know, present the, the five-year here um, in the coming weeks. So is that... Good, Deb. Did that answer your question for now? Yeah. So um, when it does come out, is, is it going to come out in some way that those of us in the community are going to see it somehow? Yes, we, we will put a link. It's going to be part of one of our board meetings, too. The board is going to review it, uh, hopefully by, by May. We're going to review it both April and May. The, the leadership is going to have a chance to see it first, and then the board is going to review it so you yeah we'll make sure and now that you brought it up we'll make sure that we have it we in the past have had a link on the website to what what we do know is what we have right now in capital for each uh, as a whole and for each building but we don't have the five and the 25 year really um, set in place yet but uh -huh. you can be assured that there's a lot of work happening in right now in our in our buildings. There's a summer plan for work that needs to be happening right now. But yes, you will you will get the information. And can I ask you one more question along those kinds of lines? Is there yeah. some place where you report what your fund balance is? The, the funds balance that from which you can take money out and add it into your revenues. I've noticed that you take some money out every year and put it into your revenues. What's the amount of money you're taking it out of? What is the fund balance itself? It, if you look at a report, Deb, and I'm going to let Suzanne speak to that too, because you can see it in different parts of the report. I'm going to grab my report right now. But Suzanne, can you speak to that? Hi, Deb. Um, I can pull up that number from our annual report. Um, our, sorry, our annual audit. It's not in the annual report. So that's a, uh, an interesting point that you're making. And we can certainly put it in there in the future. But let me get that number off of the audit. First, I welcome everybody. I want to apologize again for not being able to catch that sooner. Um, but let's I don't know, take a minute to breathe, breathe. <laughs> and let's go back to your question, Deb. Uh, yeah, but yeah, so actually it was Deb, uh, Suzanne was looking for some information for you. Suzanne, do yeah. you have that? I'm looking at the audit. That's where Suzanne said she was gonna look at it. Or is yeah. that what you're looking at, Suzanne? Yeah. On page, on page 10, is that where you're gonna send me? Uh, well, I have a report that I had the number handy at, so I'm not sure the the num the page number in the audit, but uh, two million five hundred twenty two thousand six hundred fifty nine dollars is the fund balance. 
you get that, Deb? Uh, well, I guess I should write it down if I'm serious. Hang on. <laughs> yeah, and we can also, we have your email, Deb. I can also have a, yeah. a Suzanne okay. send it to you, but we could also, Suzanne, do you want to put it, a, send it to Mark and we can put it on the chat. Yeah. Uh, what, actually, was the number, what was the number again, Suzanne? Just so I can jot, jot it down. 2522659 million five hundred twenty two thousand six hundred fifty nine dollars mm -hmm. okay. and that's after the amount that it was reserved when the fy 22 budget was approved by voters uh for the early retirement transfer so, so in, when i'm looking at the audit report this would probably be the assigned line and the unassigned line yeah up to yeah okay got it i see it Okay. All right. And then when it says total construction fund, is that does that refer to the capital reserve that you guys are talking about? Yes. It would, yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Deb. And and thank you for all your work on the report too, Deb. Thanks. <laughs> Laura, can I just ask yeah. a question? Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Was the meeting called to order or is this not called to order? Yeah, the meeting. Sorry, Elisa. Yeah, the meeting was called to order before. I think you came okay. right in and, and sorry for what happened. So we'll call it to order again. But okay. I, and yes, we, the Thank meeting you. was called to order at six thirty-two. Thank you. Okay. And and again, Jonas, you just came back, and we just apologize for what happened. Um, any other questions, uh, Michael or David, Lawrence? Can you hear us? I guess they can't, they can't hear us. <laughs> Michael, are you there? Yes. You, okay, do you have any questions? For us uh, no. to your report? No. No. No, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Uh, David? You got to use this opportunity to talk to us, David. You've been visiting us, but haven't said much. Uh, me, David, or were you asking for somebody else? You, David. <laughs> okay. What's the question? Do you have any questions? Did you receive the report? Do no. you have any questions for us? No, I'm good. You're good. Okay. So oh, can I ask another question? Yes, Deb, you can ask another question. <laughs> okay. Uh, at the beginning of the previous meeting that you convened, um, you said something about, uh, did anybody want to raise their hand and ask for you to make a presentation and nobody did, so you didn't make a presentation. Is this uh, like a PowerPoint kind of thing that I could find online and just look at myself? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll send you the link. We have. A, a, I just don't think it's worth it for tonight. I'm, I'm happy to go through it, but it's we. It, yeah. There's a link right on our website, and I, as soon as we're done with this, Deb, I'm happy to send it to you. I have your email okay. here, and you can also just go into our website right now, and it's yeah. the, the link is right there. You can find it in two ways. You can find it in our agenda of February 16, or you can find the, it in a PDF mode, or you can find the link to the video of the presentation we did on the 16th. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Deb. Uh, Lisa, do you have another question? Stout? No, Lisa. sorry, <laughs> sorry. No, it's I'll, okay. I'll take it down. <laughs> it's okay. Sorry. Joanne from Worcester. <laughs> Do you have any questions for us? Hi, Joanne. Thank you for joining us. Um, no, I don't. I've just never been able to attend any of the meetings due to you know time constraints. And I was just happy to be able to do it by Zoom just to see what's going on. Oh, great. Oh, great. Thank you for joining us. So I, I think we could use this time. I don't know if all the board members received their report. Would you? Did, did the report fit the reporty style <laughs> that we were hoping for? Did, did you guys all get your report? I I did. I, I admit I haven't looked too closely at it. Um, 
uh, because I already know what's in there mostly. Um, but I thought it was, um, you know, um, I'm trying to find the, the right um, modifiers here. Um, it was sober. It was also celebratory. Uh, I thought it struck, it, it was right in the sweet spot between glossy and promotional and newsprint town report. <laughs> yeah, well, thank you, Ben and his team and Jen and everybody. Yeah, everybody worked really hard on that. So yes, I'm glad to hear that. Um, any other thoughts? I, I also don't want to keep us in a meeting if we don't need to be in a meeting. What I wanted to make sure is that people were able to ask. It, Susan? I just wanted to let everyone know I put the uh, link to the budget presentation in the chat if they want to copy it right now. Yeah, if we have wanted to take it with the link and copy. Yeah, the chat is disabled usually, Suzanne. So, but I have it now so that I can, I will, uh, I will send it to Suzanne. And if there's anybody else that wants it, please raise your hand and make sure to send it to you. Okay. Well, the, the purpose of this meeting is really to give information so and to answer questions. So if there's no questions, um, unless any other board members feel differently, we don't, you know, we, it's not a board meeting that we need quorum. It's just really for, for information for our community members. So I want to give the opportunity again. I know that I've already asked to, especially Joanne, if you haven't been able to attend any other meeting, eh, I can also, if if you send me an email, I can send you a copy of the link into that presentation that we made. Or we're also happy to talk a little bit more about, you know, what parameters we used or any other question. Oh, there, Mark put the link for everybody now. And that's the link to the presentation. Did you get it there, Deb, too? Uh, I was just gonna go to the website. It, whoops, I don't know if you can hear me. Yeah, I can hear you. I can hear you. Okay. So it's now in the chat, so you can grab it from the chat too. Okay, I'm not a power user when it comes to Zoom, but I'll try to figure it out. <laughs> yeah, so just click on the chat little bubble below in the lower, uh, on the, oh, the lower part of your screen. If you click on chat, you will see that bubbles will come on the on your right side of your screen. Yeah, I'm doing this on my phone. Oh, okay, I it's okay. I'll send it to you when we're done. Don't worry about yeah. it, Deb. Thank you. Okay. Okay, since we have Lisa and Jen with us and Suzanne and Chris, with us too and Gillian, I just wanted to thank you all again. I hope you guys had the very well deserved time off. And thank you for all your work in getting us to this budget. And uh, it doesn't go notice all that you do for our kids. So hopefully you have all the strength necessary <laughs> to finalize the year after this short, very short vacation. But we really appreciate all you do. And yeah, with can that. I Yes. Well, Flora, can, can I just second that? I mean, I, yeah. this is the first year that Jen and Suzanne have sat in the roles that they are sitting in, and I couldn't be more happy and more proud of the way that they have represented us and, and worked for everyone over the course of the year. It's been so impressive and awesome. Suzanne, thank you so much. Yeah, it's made for a very positive budget season, and um, the meetings leading into it have been um, very positive. Yeah. Go ahead, Joanne. I just want to thank all of you for all the hard work that you do because I know it's not easy and I know, you know, get enough appreciation and I just want to thank all of you for all you do because I think the schools are great. Thank you, Joanne. It's really appreciate it. I hope people get their um, career center ballots tomorrow as well because that yeah. was a little bit of a weird situation. Um, but hopefully uh, I've reminded my son who now lives in Cabot that he has to ask for it and they're part of it. So hopefully yeah, well, Cabot, he had actually, word. 
Yeah, Cabot, Cabot learned it, mailed them to everybody. Uh, Cabot, uh, even the so career small, center one? Even the career center. Yeah, yeah. Chris Trumley asked, the, yeah. So they, it's, they're small enough and they just made it a priority. So your son should have received it. Um, he probably just had looked at it. He knew he was turning them all in tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. So, but it's, but it's there. Yeah. And for the Washington Central um, write in candidate, uh, today we received an email from uh, Adam Rosen. It's the, it's going to run in as a written uh, a write in. I, I already gave my ballot in, but he just needs 30 votes. <laughs> so if any of you haven't voted yet, Adam is uh, uh, wanting to be the write in candidate. But yes, don't forget to vote for the Career Center <laughs> too. Good point, Lindy. And with that, I, I think I just thank the community for coming to and taking the time. I know it's just a few of you, but we really appreciate it, you engaging with us. And thank you to the board members that took the time to come today and, and have a good night, everybody. And again, I really want to apologize. This, it was out of our control, but we be more careful in, in the future. Yeah, thank just, you. Uh, just, just as soon as Scott left the meeting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was like they sent us a, a little present. You mean, no, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> just like, I don't know, but yeah, but let's, Good evening, everybody. Uh, don't forget to vote that meeting. Have, we'll see everybody on, on Wednesday and enjoy the last few hours that you can take on, on vacation. And thanks again for all you do. Thank you for what you do. Thanks, Floor. Bye. Thank you, Floor. Thank you, Floor. Thank Bye. Floor. Thank you everybody. Thank you. Thanks, Floor. Bye. Thank you.